friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be getting perfectly fitted jeans from an app. Yes, that's right, folks. An app is about to measure my booty. This is the future that I signed up for. So basically, what I have here is a box with a pair of smart leggings and a corresponding iPhone app. And basically, I'm gonna put these leggings on. The leggings are gonna measure my booty and other parts with some electrodes or something. Then they're gonna Bluetooth that information to the app. The app is gonna take my measurements and search through their database and then recommend me a few pairs of what should be perfectly fitted jeans. I would say I have a medium difficult time finding jeans that fit me. I feel like besides fluctuating sizes between brands, I also fluctuate sizes on my body a decent amount, depending on the time of the month, the time of the year, the time spent editing in my cave. So I'm interested to see if this thing can just tell me what's going on at any given moment. I'd be interested to see if this thing started catching on where all this booty measuring info was being stored and how I could get access to said info. All right. This is the Like a Glove pair of smart leggings. Hey! So we've got some instructions here, and then we've got our pair of smart leggings. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. What's the orange on that? I think that's the electrodes. Those are gonna be the things that'll electrocute your butt? Yes, so. Is it a button? Yeah, don't touch it yet. I mean, this thing is, is the legging of the future. These little stitches are the measuring bands, I'm pretty sure. And then this, are you ready for this? This is the measuring homing device. It's beeping. Look at that. Is it looking at us? Maybe. It's recording us right now. It does look kind of like the eye of Sauron if I hold it like this. <laughs> it just keeps blinking. It's like a little heartbeat. Never trust anything that can think for itself if you can't see where it keeps its brain. It's an Arthur Weasley quote. It's what he told Ginny before she, you know, started communicating with the Dark Lord. Hello? It's a Horcrux. You in there? Okay, I think we should try this on. Ooh. Ta-da! I think they look cool. I call it Michelin booty. Because you've kind of got like a quilted aspect to it. You're like a little sausage. So basically you've got the measuring bands that kind of sit on like your upper waist, upper hips, lower hips, and then, you know, the bootay. I've connected my phone to the computer so we can screen record it. Um, I've got my app, like a glove. It says to please share your height so we may estimate your jeans length. I fluctuate between 5'9 and 5'10. I'm gonna go with 5'10 just because my legs are a little bit proportionately longer than the rest of my body. Did you do a leg pan up? Yes. Sensual. They say, we want to get to know you even better. Please share two of your favorite denim brands and their sizes so we can learn your fit preference. All right, so let's take a look at this selection. I don't own a lot of jeans from these brands. I own a pair of American Eagle jeans that are size eight that I really like. So let's go with that, right? I've worn Levi's before, but I don't really remember. I'm just gonna say, I know that 29 is a size eight, so I'm just gonna go with it. Please share your weight and age. Let's guess 154 pounds, and I still have a few days left of being 24. So I'm gonna do this as a last hurrah. All right, so we've got a little bit of tutorial here. Looks great. I measure myself, then they give me a catalog, and then I love it. All right, let's try it. Ah, leggings should sit as mid-rise jeans, they say. So let's, you know, make sure that they're sitting. Yeah, they're underneath. They're not covering my belly button, so. Okay, so I have to turn on my homing device, click measure, and then stand very still. Am I on? It's flashing. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down. I'm gonna click measure, and then I'm gonna be as still as possible. Cannot move. Uh, it looks like it's doing something. Oh, this guy got an error message. You wanna try it again? Yeah, let's try it again. Okay, stand very still this time. Okay, I'm gonna click measure. Very still. I got the same message. I kind of think it's because it's plugged in. Why don't we try without it being plugged in? So we've unplugged it. So we can't do the screen recording really quick, but we're gonna record on the camera so you'll be able to see what goes on. I measured up. Uh, it's doing something. It might be working. Did it work? Did it work? I think it did. Oh my God. Here we are. Here I am. There are measurements. There's my booty licious. And uh, now we've got our recommendations. So it looks like we have a lot of five star matches, which are supposed to be like really good fit matches. We kind of have more than a lot. 
I was expecting a few specific five-star matches, but it looks like we have at least a hundred. Even here, right at the top of the list, they're going high rise, mid rise, straight leg, skinny leg, flare, like they're all over the place. I would be interested in trying on like a one-star fit just to see like what the different qualifications are for what they think is a perfectly fitted jean, but I can't even find like a four-star fit. Like these are all five. It feels kind of like they're going through every brand they have and every jean that every brand they have has. They're not really being like this one, fits your body better. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a few of these five-star matches right at the top. I'm gonna go for different price points and slightly different styles, but still styles that I would like to wear to try and figure out what this whole five-star thing means. Because if they're all five stars, then they should all be very good, yes? At the very least, perfectly fitted or just molded to the booty. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks. I've caught a little bit of a cold, but we do have our three pairs of perfectly fitted jeans here. So I've got my Old Navy jeans, my Levi's jeans, and my Lucky Brand jeans. All right, let's open these up and try them on. I'm ready. My booty's ready for some new friends. All right, here is pair numero uno. Tags and all. Tags and all, man. I think they feel sturdy and like, Serious. Can you see the, the glitter box? Let me close this. The waistband is like a little bit tight, but like not uncomfortable. But it's definitely like I'm feeling it. Like it's it's not super stretchy. They feel like they could be really comfortable after I wore them for a while. Here is pair number two. They look a little tight. They're very high rise, so you do get like a little bit of this mom jean effect in the front. These aren't uncomfortable, but they are pretty tight. And this is a little more like spray painted on. There's a lot of spandex in these. Like I might even call these jeggings. And pair number three. I think that um, there's a little bit of like awkwardness right at the bottom. They're just a tiny bit loose and also a hair short. And I kind of wish they were like one or the other. There's not a lot of like booty lifting action. Not that bootylicious, no. I think it's funny how long this zipper is, but besides that. That is a gigantic zipper. Right. Why is it so long? So I think overall, like, they all fit. Like, they don't not fit me. I wouldn't say that any of them are perfect. And I'm also not sure what the app means by five stars, because they're all, like, pretty different. Besides the differences in style, like, there's differences in butt cuppage, there's differences in thigh tautness, differences in zipper length. They do say that they can cater to your style, but I was hoping that they would recommend a cut that they think that would look good on me because they know all this stuff about my booty. Someone knows out there. But I wanna give them another shot and try and run a couple of tests to see if they fit me better than my normal jeans in like common, uncomfortable jeans situations. Okay, so the first test is gonna be us walking up the stairs and seeing what elasticity of the frontal movement. You could just do this instead. <laughs> is this the test? And yes, the only stairs we could find were in the parking lot. This is our set. Wow, this is creepier than I thought it would be. All right, let's go for it. Are you ready? Yes. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they comfortable? This has got got some good spandex and good stretch. Like I said earlier, like they're kind of like jeggings. I said earlier, this one had like the sturdiest fabric. I feel the sturdiness. It's kind of getting pushed back against by my hip bones. I'll say that the thighs are pretty loosey goosey. My one issue is that when I lean forward, when I'm walking up the stairs, I feel the waistband in the stomach. Area. We just ate pizza though. We also just ate pizza. The second test is the chair test. If it fits, I shall sit. Ah, uh, okay. I am fully covered in the back. No plumber situation, yeah, no. Yeah, it's a very high rise. Yeah. That's why. Even though the mid rise does rise as I sit down, it actually doesn't dig into much. The back did move down, but my crack is safely concealed. The front, I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit. It is a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, on a scale of one to muffin top, what do you think you are right now? I think I'm a half-baked cookie dough. They all did pretty well, but I wouldn't say that they were a revelation. I do still think that they are all my size, but they all have their own small issues. There weren't any glaring issues with any of them. Like, I could wear these jeans and be pretty comfortable, but were they perfect? No. So we're home now, and as a final little test, 
I wanted to throw in a pair of fine jeans that I wear a lot to compare with my app recommended jeans just to see like if there's any market difference. I mean, from what I remember, I think these fit pretty well. I do like these jeans a lot. They do um, stretch out a little bit and uh, I also haven't washed them in a couple of days so there's some crusty hair on them. But besides that, I like them. These are size eight long from Target, Mossimo brand. Um, and oh, I quite, like those jeans. They're quite comfortable. I have those things too. I mean, I would say that the jeans that we've tried on today do have a little maybe more booty lifting action, but they are also a little bit tighter and maybe even higher rise. I wouldn't say that my normal ones are perfect, but I also would say that they've got some things that I like better than the app recommended jeans. So I think they're all kind of good fits but I don't think any of them are perfect. Okay, so those were the three app recommended jeans. Um, I mean, three amongst a very long list of five star recommended jeans. Overall, I was expecting a little more of a recommending aspect. I was kind of expecting that with all the minute details they have about my hindquarters, that I would learn something new about what jeans I should be wearing. Maybe my expectations were a bit high because it didn't not work. It does measure you and then it does give you some sizes in different brands that they think that you are. And these jeans did fit, but I don't think that any new insight was given. Like I thought that the app was gonna receive my booty information and then be kind of like Stacy and Clinton from What Not To Wear and be like, ah, You've got a pear-shaped body type, so you should be wearing this dark wash wide leg jean with a mid-rise from this brand specifically. And they were a little more like, we've got 300 pairs of jeans. You are a size eight in almost all of them. Check it out. I do think that the database is cool. Like I do like the idea of being able to see my different size in different brands. But in terms of recommending perfect jeans, I feel like you'd be better off probably doing it yourself or going into the store and like asking someone to measure the booty or, you know, just give you an eyeball test. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Abby for watching. Thanks for watching Abby and I'll see you guys next time.